Hello everyone and welcome to Fun Electronics Today. In this episode I want to show you one of my methods for soldering SMD components. And not just any component but large SSOP and TSSOP chips with 30-40 pins. Of course the proper method for doing this kind of job is using solder paste and a hot air gun but in this video I'm going to show you my method of soldering them with the iron. That's right, just the soldering iron and no hot air SMD rework station. I used this method a lot in my daily work for the past 10 years or so. In case you wonder, my soldering station is a T12 tip based one. And the type of tip I'm using in this video is T12 BC2. So it's basically one of those cylindrical flat face tips used for surface wipe soldering. There are plenty of other similar soldering tips out there and I can reassure you that these techniques I'm demonstrating today can be achieved with other tools as well. This method is based on manipulating the molten solder by using the surface tension of the liquid. The flat base of the tip is acting like a small surface suction cup and it will allow you to draw and drag the annoying excess amount of paste that ends up going between the pins. As you can see, I first add a little bit of solder on the corner pad and then place the chip into position. Then I make sure everything is aligned properly. Put some solder on the other corners to make sure it's not going anywhere. I then fill all the pins with plenty of solder and make sure they reach the proper temperature so I won't have any cold soldering points. I use some solder wick to wipe out the excess. Then, I even out everything with the tip. And if needed, I add some more tin to it. I do the same thing for the other side.
Then I clean the board using some alcohol and an old brush. In this other demonstration I can show you how I repair a new PS by swapping its microcontroller with another one from a different board. But I am going to do this after the break so stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel for more technical fun and interesting tutorials like this one. Also, don't forget to share this video on your social media and leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it.